Welcome in the Rover Sports here at night again. I've been very excited to give this review of the New York Jets. This game happened just yesterday on Saturday. Jets, Giants, the New Jersey rivalry, the Snoopy Bowl, I believe they call it. And now we're going to get to see our old friend out of Baylor, Midlovian, Texas, Bryce Petty, take the Jets on a little ride. So first down, love the play action, great ball control, and hits his receiver. Great crossing route and timing by Petty. He's off to an auspicious start. Petty, again, getting opportunity, really well protected here. And, I mean, kind of a disappointing play. Like, even though the receiver catches it, when you get this type of uh, protection in the pocket there, um, as you see the lineman doing a fantastic job, when you get that type of protection, you want to be able to take a shot down the field. And then this football is not exactly a great throw. It's a little wobbly. An incredible catch, though by the running back out of the backfield. Makes Petty look good there and uh, gets a gain of about nine yards there. Smith um, with a really great reception. Second and two, and here we just have 70. I believe that that might be green. He, he might be a backup for the Jets. He just gets blown up here by, uh, by Wynn. Like Kerry Wynn, he just had a tremendous game, Kerry Wynn. It might be Luke or Kerry Wynn. It's one of the two. Oh, then Petty on third and seven, man. You got to be kidding me. You had a terrific drive. Petty again getting great protection in the pocket, but look at his eyes. He's glossed on the one dude. He's eyeing that sucker down, and Bryce Petty does not – you know, his his eyes just don't go off of that receiver. And that's why this is a ball that he just is throwing for the sake of throwing. And maybe there was great coverage anywhere, but his eyes got to move more, especially with that protection. He tries to force it to Sharon Peak, and he's lucky that the pass didn't get intercepted. Uh, the Jets go on the tack on a field goal, so Petty does get, you know, three points on the board. But still, with the time he was given, not a fantastic drive, to say the least. Petty then takes over again. This is his second series of the game. Ziggity Zoo was there. You have Kelvin Shepard trying to get time for the Giants, too. Love the play fake. And then Petty. Oh, it's tough to out throw Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson looks like the next Victor Cruz in preseason. You see Petty rotating. Plenty of arm strength on that ball, but that's a sailor. And you don't want to have sailors in preseason football. I mean, Petty, you see here, lines it up. Great block, again, by the back. Pressure coming, but still Bryce has such a clean pocket. And this is just where, this is just a complete floater that almost hits the Jets bench. And you got to keep the football low. You throw that ball on a line, Robbie's going to catch that. So a mistake there. Third and seven. Petty. Uh, makes a play and uh, gets the sack. But let's check this out again. So Petty here, he's just kind of out of sync this game. Maybe Petty was told he had no chance of winning the starting job. Maybe he's getting complacent. You see here, 71 beats the, beats the tackle. And then Petty, he can just roll out. Instead he, instead, he stops his feet right there. That's the biggest problem, you know, is that Petty stopped his feet. And, and that's why Petty ended up getting sacked. Like, what I want to see from Bryce Petty here is I want to see him continue to roll outside of the pocket. Watch this. Roll outside. Don't just get stuck there in the mud. You, you know, you can't do that in the NFL. You can't be so deliberate with your motion. Roll out, be decisive. This whole side of the field is wide open. You could run or scramble for a first down, and instead you get gobbled up by the big guys. So Bryce Petty there, his footwork was awful. He's disciplined looking down the field. Terrible. And, uh... Again, not replicating what he did in Washington when he was given great protection there. So here's Petty next series. Tries to throw it over the top. Second and ten, Petty. Decent protection. 
This is a throw that's got to be made. Just, just out of sync right here. Petty can make these throws in his sleep, man, and he's just not having the best of evening. His footwork is fine. Pocket is fine. Behind, behind the receiver there. Or excuse me, he just he just threw it low and in the dirt. And you can't throw it low. One's high, one's low. Just inept accuracy. Bad snap here. Petty resets. Petty looking. I like this play. Finally, he shows the mobility that we know that he has. Bryce here finally steps up. Curls right, unlike the last time when he got sacked. And he finds Nate Sudfeld for a first down. First and ten here. This is this is this is Bryce Petty being petty. I mean, you see him throw this football. I know that JT Thomas. I know the Giants are gonna freaking kill the guy. Um, I know that this is a soft ball, but the thing is, is that it's accurate. It was in the coverage. It was a great. Um, he throws again over linebackers. A layered football. That's an accurate toss by Bryce Petty. And although fifty five gets a hell, heck of a lick on this receiver. It's an accurate ball by Bryce Petty. So even though the velocity wasn't there, he needed to layer the football in there. And Ross, that was a very brave catch by that guy. Heck of a job. So Petty driving him down. Then you see the draw play. You see wonderful blocking on the left side of the line. 11-yard gain. Jets moving into territory. Bryce Petty keeping this drive alive. Fourth quarter we go. Nice cutback again by Smith, who's looking good in this limited action, trying to make the team. Antoine Smith. Then you see Petty there. Play action, rolling, hits his guy, first down. Drive looking perfect, making simple plays now. The drive looking easy, passes it to Bo Stick on a simple play action. Petty then hands, the Giants defense collapses. Another run right from Antoine Smith. And then you're going to see here Petty on third and 10 get flushed out. And then this is the disaster. As Kerry win, he's got reservations for six. <laughs> Almost a hold there on 33. So this play looks freaking awful. When you look at Bryce Petty, yes, he was high. Yes, he was erratic. Yes, his footwork wasn't great. And then this play is going to plummet him because if the Jets put up another field goal, then Hackenberg gets in the game. You know, you're looking at Petty as saying, yeah, he was pretty, pretty poor, like C minus to C. Now you're in the D range because of a pick six. But let's like, let's dissect how this play went wrong. Okay. And what Bryce was seeing, because I don't think it's completely Petty's fault. He's trying to hit Nate Sudfeld or, or Zach Sudfeld. Um, completely held. The ball should have never been thrown. I mean, maybe he was trying to draw a flag. And then this is just a ter terrible fortune. And the Jets offensive lineman, nobody's around him. It's like the pick six at Auburn where there's all fat dudes. And no one can get this guy because they're all fat and slow. And and then you have Kerry Wynn, very athletic. And then, oh my gosh, boy, did he juke. He juked Bryce Petty out of his shoes to make it worse. So just a terrible, terrible evening for Petty. He didn't even take an interview after the game. Um, and this play is going to come back to haunt him. It might be his last throws of preseason unless he gets to play Thursday in Philadelphia. But it, it just tonight, he didn't look sharp at all. I still think Petty has great potential. I think he has more potential than Fitzpatrick and Geno Smith. I think Petty could start in this league. He's fast enough. And that was just a terrible decision by Bryce. I mean, because the guy was getting held. It should have been a holding call. As you see here and look at the replay, the guy was getting held. A bonehead pass. But again, that's not lack of talent. You know, I think Bryce Petty tonight was erratic with his throws. He has the ability to be very good, though. And we've shown that throughout this preseason. It's just that tonight he had one of his really poor efforts. A very inconsistent and poor effort. And was not strong in the pocket at all. But hey, let's go to something that might excite Jets fans. And that is number five. Christian Hackenberg. His first pass as a professional is a completion. That's a good omen. 
when your first frau is, uh, <laughs> oh man, I spoke too soon. I've seen some of these tapes. So, so Hackenberg here's off to a real rough start. You know, I like the throw out to Worthy. That showed powerful arm strength. Hackenberg trying to move a little bit. And then this throw was clearly behind the target. You know, you got to complete two yard screens. You know, if you want to be playing on Sunday, if you want to be playing in the NFL and playing at a high level. I mean, this play, he, you know, I know that 78 kind of in his face, but it's a throw behind him. He's got to put more air under it, put it. Don't leave it on the amateur side. Lead the receiver down the football field. So not a great play. And then third and 10 for Christian Hackenberg. Penn State via Virginia calls a little timeout. No, penalty. And then Hack. Sudfeld. First down. Look at Hack. His first completion in the NFL. To Zach Sudfeld. I hate that the Redskins have a quarterback also named Sudfeld. Kind of pisses me off. Um, but anyway, I always get Zach and Nate confused, but I'm pretty sure it's Zach Sudfeld who's making some big time plays. And that was a, that was a very nice throw by Christian. Look at Hack drive and fire. Sharon Peak. Look at Hack. Perfect protection. Showing good rhythm. Bouncing around the pocket, throwing a Tim Wakefield knuckleball right in there to Charon Peak. Throw was a little bit behind him, but hey, he's a rookie. He's out at MetLife for the first time, taking a stroll at night. Give the kid a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Run into the line of scrimmage, not getting anything. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, okay, we get it. Then here's Christian Hackenberg. The time is impeccable. One thing about Hack, the guy's stuck in quicksand. He doesn't move at all. Look at him. He's like a turd. He's completely still. It's like he's frozen in space. But, but in fact, the one thing that was also frozen is a frozen rope to Robbie. Look at Hack here. His feet don't move at all. But he throws a frozen rope, as you'll see it again. Christian Hackenberg, 25 yards of effortless power to Robbie Anderson. And then look, the dime piece, the icing on the cake over the top of the defense. Beautiful touch, like an angel coming to, towards the back pylon. Christian Hackenberg and Robbie Anderson. Even Todd Bowles is like, wow. I am impressed. I think we got a good one. The timing is perfect. The decisiveness. Robbie Anderson, a complete stud. But Mr. Hackenberg, what a drive. What a first drive for Christian Hackenberg. Let's take it to the second drive now for Hack. Hack gets the football back. Let's take it to the second drive now. Believe that was a punt return. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's back it up a bit to Christian Hackenberg driving down the football field. Giants are going to be punting very, very, very soon. Okay, here we go. And then look at this return. What a return. Almost a horse collar by the punter. We're going to be rolling here. Thank you, ref. Let's go. Hackenberg. Pocket. That could have been intercepted. That was just a force. That's just like a little bit of Jay Cutler in him. I can throw the ball anywhere on the field. And the ball's coming out a little wobbly if I had to critique. But the arm strength is there. The arm strength is there. Now, his mobility is another thing that we'll address here in this upcoming video. Twan Smith on the ground. Or Akeel Smith. Hackenberg hands. I hate that call. What a lame, lame, lame call by, uh, by the Jets there. 
Field goals up and good. Just hated the call. Hate running the football there. You'll never get me to like your team when you run on third and seven right in the red zone like that. You're, you're never going to get on my side with that type of play calling, especially when you have a young quarterback. It's preseason for crying out loud. Here you see Ryan Nassib trying to make some magic occur. Believe that we might see a turnover on downs by the Giants. Let's see. We do. Turnover on downs. Hackenberg hands. Nothing doing. So here you're in your own, your own uh, goal. You're in your own uh, end zone. Okay? And you got to be smart with the football. You got to be smart. You just got to try to paddle out here, paddle the boat out, and not turn the football over. I believe we might see a turnover. We do. Hence, he's just a rookie. He's going to make inconsistent throws. Commentary. That's what Hackenberg defenders will say about this. But come on, there is nowhere to throw the football. There is a time and place for everything. You need to end every possession in a kick. And just this throw is just a disaster. Let's see what he was thinking on this throw. Let's try to slow it up. So Hackenberg takes the snap. You only are gonna comp you're only gonna let this football go towards a receiver if the guy is wide open. In fact, throwing it over the middle of the field, it's so congested everywhere you look. He was trying to go to Bostic. The linebacker cuts right in front. It's so congested. Mental error. Big time mental error that cost Christian Hackenberg. Giants go on to score a touchdown. Two minute drill time. For the Jets. Hackenberg incomplete. Let's see what he does though on third and ten. Hackenberg in the pocket. Stepping up. Throwing lasers. Complete and utter laser. Again the Robbie. Love Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson is going to be a star in this league. Christian Hackenberg, here he makes a pretty nice effort to get out of trouble because he's not very mobile. For a 6'4 guy, he just can't run anywhere outside the pocket. Bryce Petty is like an Olympic sprinter compared to Christian Hackenberg in terms of mobility. Third and six here for Hack. Makes a nice little dump off pass to Ferdy. To Smith. And then you're going to see here quite possibly the last play of the football game. And there's Hack under pressure on fourth and one. You run the ball on third and seven from, you know, the 15-yard line of the Giants. And then on fourth and one, you don't have the guts to run it. One yard, and that and and the Jets needed a field goal. Hackenberg could have let him down. I'm excited about Christian Hackenberg and Bryce Petty, and the reason I'm excited about Hackenberg and Bryce Petty is because both of them have more arm talent than Fitzpatrick. I think Bryce Petty is ahead of Hackenberg in terms of his development. I think Petty definitely has a future in this league. The arm strength is there. The mobility is there. He should get to start for some teams. I think Christian Hackenberg, his arm talent is better than Bryce Petty. I think Hackenberg, if he learns to move around in the pocket a little bit better, I think Hackenberg can be the potential starter for a long, long time just from seeing this tape, seeing him blister the football in. You clearly see the talent here from Christian Hackenberg. And last week, Bryce Petty put on a show. So both of these guys, I predict, before it's all said and done, I think Bryce Petty will start for a team for a couple of years, and Christian Hackenberg will be the man in New York 
Dave, David Carr was really the only one that was ruined by playing a guy too early. You look at Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, even Robert Griffin III, Blake Bortles. All these guys got to play right off the bat. Eli Manning played in his first year. If the Jets season goes south, I think you should either give it to, um, to Petty or to Hackenberg to lead this group forward. Thanks for watching Rover Sports. I love doing these reviews. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch.